Hey guys, it's Simba Tech here and I'm going to be showing you how to make Google Maps on Visual Basic. So, I've already made this before. So, I'm good and this is how it looks in the end. So, I'll show you how it works. W21NB search. Okay. So, guys, this is how it looks. It's loaded up and now I'm going to be showing you how to make it so I'm going to close this here and you have to go into file go into new and project and this this will load it up this is my new application and you'll have to go into toolbox and go into all windows form go down and look for split container insert this in here so here is the split container and now you go into orientation and change vertical into horizontal and you'll have to make panel one smaller just about here you have to add um, label text box button and web browser as well so you go into toolbox first of all and you click label uh, which is here and you put that in panel one go into toolbox again and find text box and put that in panel one you also need a button so you'll have to find a button and put that in label one So now you will need a web browser to access Google Maps. So you need to go down and click web browser and put it in panel 2. So you need to enhance label, label, text box and button. So go into font and increase the size. And make it. So now we're going to make the font bold and maybe 18 and press OK. So now I'm going to enhance the looks of the interface, make it a bit wider. Now I'm going to go down and change the text of the label to postcode. Now I'm going to change the text of the button to search. And we are going to change the name of the text box to txt postcode. So now I'm going to double click on search button and now I'm going to import the following line of code. Now I will put in a try variable which will load up automatically load up cache x as an exception and I will also insert the variable. Now I will use the if statement to sesh. The now under the under the end if you will insert the web browser dot web browser one dot navigate brackets pc dot two string bracket. So to prevent any errors from occurring, you insert this event handler. Now I will start the program and see how it works. So now this is the finished product and I will enter the postcode to see if it works. So guys this is the finished product and this is how it looks like and this is the end of the video so guys please subscribe share like
and please leave a comment down below how you thought of my video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.